A long time ago in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior was born, which was Christ the Lord. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? We're doing the Christmas play. You know that. What's the matter with you? Look around you. Everyone's here. Our parents are even here. Hi, Dad. Help me to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. 
How can I be sure of this? I am old, I am an old man, and my wife is well along in years. Wow, did you hear that? He just, he, wow, did you hear what he just said? He called his wife old. Dude, he's in trouble. <laughs> oh, he did something worse than that. He questioned an angel. Watch this. I am Gabrielle, and I stand in the presence of God. And I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. And now you'd be silent and not able to speak until this day happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at the proper time. Hey, what happened to his voice? Gone. Laryngitis? Power of God. Wow, you said it. <laughs> well, that sure is after I didn't say it. <laughs> sure enough, just like the angel had said, Zachariah and Elizabeth were soon expecting their first baby, despite their old age. But Zachariah still couldn't speak. It wasn't very long at all before Mary came to visit her cousin, Elizabeth.
Meanwhile, back in Nazareth, we find Joseph, this man, the man pledged to marry Mary, asleep in his bed. Joseph had had a hard day because as soon as Mary got back from visiting with Elizabeth, it was obvious to everyone that she was going to have a baby. Uh oh. Yep. Now Joseph was a very good man, so he wanted to be kind and generous towards Mary. But since he knew the baby wasn't his, he wasn't sure what to do next. While he was still considering his options, an angel of the Lord came to him in a dream. Oh, not, oh no, not this dog again. Did you have anyone else who wanted to play an angel? <laughs> Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save people, his people, from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him. Hi, Mary. Hi, do you believe yet? I don't know. Here, you read a while. Why? Because my mouth is tired. I've been talking all night. Well, that's for sure. Where do you leave off? Oh, here it is. In those days, he sure was his issue with the decree that everyone in the Roman world would be counted. Why on earth would somebody order something like that? Taxes. Oh, now I get it. So Joseph also went on from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judah to Bethlehem to the town of David because he belonged in the house of the line of David. He went there to or to show Mary, he was pledged to be married to him, and he was expecting a child. Hey, is this almost over? Because I'm getting hungry. Is that going to be soon after the service? <laughs> yes, it's going to be soon. The men are working really hard right now. Please read. <laughs> well, they were there on the time came for the baby to be born. She gave gave birth to the firstborn son, and she wrapped him in clothes and placed him to the major, because there were no room for them in the end. Hi, Larry. Hi, do you believe yet? I don't know, but that's a very pretty baby you have there. Yes, he's the son of God. And that is the end of part two. Time for soup? No, time for a song.
the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Good job. So, so they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph in the baby who was lying in the manger. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Well, that's that. What a nice Christmas story. Hey, hold it. Oh. Uh, hey, hold it. What happens next? Oh, uh, you don't want to know. Yes, I do. What happens to Mary? What happens to the baby? How am I supposed to believe the Christmas story? I don't know what happens. Are you sure you want to know? Yes. Be careful. Wanting to know is the first step to believing. All right, I want to know. Tell me. Well, okay. We'll read it together. You start. Not too far away lived a king. Not too far away lived King Herod. He was king of the whole area where Mary and Joseph were living. Hey, why don't they like it? Because you have good taste. Who are those guys? They are just some wise men who live in countries nearby. They have come to they have come to find baby Jesus. They had seen a star in the east and came to worship him. King Herod knew the Asian King Herod knew the Asian prophecies that were that were a Messiah to be to the Jews. He knew that there, that this was the king they were talking about. They secretly did not want to be any king by himself. He called the Jewish leaders together and asked them, where is the Messiah to be They told him, Bethlehem. So Herod, so Herod asked, asked the wise men where they had seen the star, and they told him. Finally, he commanded them, they, he finally commanded them to go and find him. And when they found him, come back and tell Herod so that he can come worship him as well. Wait a minute, I don't like this period because I heard them. It'll be okay. No, it won't. We gotta do something. We gotta warn her. There's nothing to do. Don't do you wanna go on and hear the rest of the story? I don't know. Yes? Okay, then let's read. The wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw a child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down to worship him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and incense of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Another route? You mean they went back to Herod? Yes. Mary is safe. Yes. Well, not quite. What? Well, hurry up. Keep reading. Here, let me do it. When they had gone, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Oh no, you're kidding me. Not again. <laughs> yeah. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you. And Herod had to search for the child and kill him. So Joseph got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and left for Egypt where they stayed until the death of Herod. Yes, they made it. She's safe, the baby's safe, even Joseph is safe. That's the greatest story ever. That's the coolest angel I've ever seen. Angel, nice, good work. <laughs> so is that the end? Well, almost. Later, Joseph was visited by an angel in a dream and told that Herod had died. <laughs> so he and Mary and the young child Jesus moved back from Egypt to their hometown of Nazareth. And there is a very happy ending. Jesus grew up, lived a sinless life, taught about God who is his father, and later paid the price for the sins of the world. And now all the and now all those who believed in him will have eternal life. So now the question is the same one Mary had been asking you all night. Do you believe? Do I believe? Do I believe yet? Yes, you know, I think I do. I really do. You see, it really is a Christmas to believe in. That was awesome. Time for soup. Right off for this last song. Hit it. Be Christmas.